It is hot in here. Eh! Ooh. Hang on, hang on. Oh, he's a big one too. Don't sting me, 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 don't sting me. Don't sting me. Just get out, just get out. Go. Good. All right. It's even worse on you. These parkings, this parking lot is the worst park. It's crooked. Every parking spot is crooked and too small for trucks. It fit though. Look at, I'm as far in as I can go. I'm still overhanging in the back, probably about uh, two feet or so. Don't take off anybody's mirror. That car was really cool. I had a hell of a time getting the pop bottles out of here. Filled the machine at uh, $6.80 today, so I got a little further. It's like, I got to go to work now, so. I mean, that parking spot is way too, all these parking spots are way too small. They're way too small. So up when I hear the crunch? Sort of? Kind of? Maybe not. And there, the minivan's over a little bit, but like, I mean. Ugh, there. There. <laughs> That's a lot of money spent today so far <laughs> so 110 in gas 360 on the credit card 400 for rent uh, and I made uh, six dollars and eighty cents off the pop bottles and I got to bring the rest back home because there's just no place to put them and uh, oh, get some air in here and uh, now I gotta go get my job done but I figured I'd do this today it jams up my day a little bit but the rest of the week is just going to be nuts. Like Thursday, I'll probably work until like nine, nine or ten o'clock at night. So that's going to be a really long day. I'm not looking forward to that. Hopefully, it's not that long. But you never know. You just don't know what you're going to get, right? And uh, anyhow, um, yeah. So that part's done. So now, gotta go do the grass. That was a stop. Yeah, go do the grass and uh, yeah, that's so bad. A bit of a, a bit of a wait in the uh, metro there, but uh, it was pretty gross to look at, so that's good. <laughs> Don't mind that. Uh, yeah, so I got rid of like six dollars eighty cents worth of pop cans, and I'm coming back with a couple of bags. So it it takes a long time to get rid of these pop cans because like the corner store in my town doesn't take them anymore because. The guy that, the, the company that was supposed to pick them up doesn't pick them up. And then they, they get backlogged, right? So I only do get rid of them when I come up here. So right now my can, my truck smells like gas, mixed gas, grass clippings, uh, mud, and stale Pepsi. It's actually a very interesting combination if you really, if you really must know. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but yeah, so I made 34 bucks off the scrap metal this morning and $6.80 off of the uh, pop bottles. So $40 a day so far, and then now I'm going to go start my other job. And I'll make another probably 80 today, so not bad. Not bad. I just I won't get paid for this one for a while. This one I got paid monthly. That little speedboat what they want for that it looks like it needs a lot of work though now here's where you want to keep your eyes out because look at all these old vehicles look at the Mach 1 Ooh, I love I love me a Mach 1 I love a Mach 1 that is one of the nicest Fords ever made is the Mach 1 the fastback the thing when I was a kid I could have bought a lot of those cars like as fixer uppers for like 500 bucks Camaro's 500 bucks still running like 70s, early 80s, Trans Ams, maybe about a thousand bucks. You know, like, like 70s, Smokey and the Bandits, uh, the 76. Uh, the 76 is the Trans Am you want of the old Trans Ams, because that's the one that, I think it was a formula model as well, so it, uh, it's pretty jangly in here with all these bad roads and pop cans. watch my speed because I did see Smokey back there so he might be up here 
They usually wait here with the photo radar. Like they park like here and then the guy stands way up there so you don't see him off the hill, eh? It looks like the Pro Nature place opened up again. It says open. So maybe maybe it's open again, I don't know. Hope so. Yeah, so I'm gonna go see if I can get the rest of that job done today. And then tomorrow I'm gonna hopefully get some hours in for my chainsaws. So I do have a hunch I'm gonna be using that little chainsaw today. Well, I know I am, because I've already, I, I just, the only question is not how many branches am I going to saw up that were already down, it's how many new branches are down from that storm, because I haven't been in to that client's uh, property since that big storm. So for all I know, I might have to cut my way in. <laughs> Hopefully not, but if so, it's extra time. I'll call them, let them know tonight that I finally got a chainsaw, because they don't know yet. As soon as I tell them, they'll go, oh, did you cut this? Did you cut that? Oh, and the next time you gotta cut this. Oh, and next time you come by, we gotta show you all the stuff you're gonna cut. So like my little mini geese chainsaw there, that little still 180, MS 180. It's got like a date with like so many trees right now. It's like, as soon as I told my, um, one of my clients, the one I'm gonna go to tomorrow, that I got the chainsaw. Oh, if you want to cut this tree, and now, and now, at least there's four. She has four on the list already. Plus, there's branches and stuff I got to clean up, and a bunch of stumps. Uh, I bet you by the time tomorrow there'll be about twelve or fifteen. Because <laughs> like she's gonna start looking around now. It's like, oh, he's got the saw. Okay, can he take that one? Is it big enough for that? Is it big enough for that one? So I am gonna have to get a big saw too. But the little saw that'll that'll do ninety percent of the work I need to do. Yeah. I gotta add a little bit extra mix to my gas so everything's fine. Uh, I did add a little more, but uh, like I explained it, my uh, when I mixed it the last time, where my screw up was, uh, I mixed it 100 to one, not 50 to one. Which I don't know why I didn't catch it then. You know, like I should have. Hey, wait, wait a minute, math don't add up. But I, I, you know, when you get thinking of, okay, I have 10 liters of gas and. You're not thinking in five liters, five liters. You're just thinking in the whole 10 liters. So you got to put two little containers in there, 100 milliliters. to get your 50 to one, right? But I was just thinking one gas can, right? Like I'm not thinking two fill-ups. I'm thinking just, you know, one fill-up, one. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I won't make that mistake again. Didn't do any damage, so no harm, no foul. But I'll make a proper video with it just so that uh, when I do do the math on it, <laughs> you know, I'll explain the math better. Because I, I was a little confused in the video. Um, so, so, no, that's it. And then I throw it in and I was like, but it wasn't it. You know, like, I don't know why my brain was thinking one. You know, just, no, you're just throwing the one. <laughs> I don't know. Gotta watch out for stuff like that. You also gotta watch out for scrap metal. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to head to my other clients and uh, see if I can get uh, that done.